Welcome dear learners to this lecture that is on the concept of residence time and rate of natural cycles. Before we delve into the uh, residence time, uh, we should know about the biogeochemical cycles that is the cycling of the nutrients like carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur, calcium, water they get recycled from one form to another form and uh, that's, uh, that is uh, known as biogeochemical cycles and the portion of these nutrients which get stored in any form in uh, uh, I mean uh, in biological form chemical form they are called reservoirs so now let's have a look on the residence time or the time element uh, in any natural cycles so uh, the residence time is a concept that describes how long a substance or a particle stays in a system for example how long carbon in the form of carbon dioxide stays into the atmosphere or uh, how long uh, the carbon in the form of uh, carbon area carbonic acid stays in the oceans or water so uh, there may be any kind of uh, elements uh, like nitrogen they have a different kind of residence time water they have different kinds of residence time so it is uh, basically calculated by dividing the amount of substance in a system uh, by rate of input or output of that substance so here uh, you can see uh, this is any kind of system or a reservoir wherein there are inputs uh, these two uh, uh, arrows 5 for, for example a number and the output is uh, 10 so input and output are total uh, same so here if we want to calculate the residence time we have to divide the amount of uh, um, element in reservoir that is 20 for example 20 gigatons divided by the uh, flows in or out from the system or a reservoir that is 10 gigatons per year and overall the residence time is two years so here we can calculate the residence time uh, of any element so basically residence time and rate of natural cycles are important concepts for understanding the dynamics and in, uh, interactions of different systems or components on earth and beyond those process so uh, many uh, kinds of uh, the influences are there anthropogenic processes by which the the residence time or inflow or outflow of such kind of the elements have been disturbed so that's why it is very important uh, to discuss the residence time for example due to the anthropogenic processes there is a release of more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere uh, hence uh, it increases the residence time of the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere which overall increases the infrared radiation and in, uh, increases the greenhouse gas effect so residence time of uh, various uh, elements for example carbon dioxide it uh, is around 100 years in the atmosphere and uh, residence time of water in oceans it is around 3000 years and uh, nitrogen in atmosphere it is 1 million and for uranium it is around 4.5 billion years it takes uh, uranium to leave the earth's crust so for example if we want to discuss about the components of the carbon uh, cycle for example the in atmosphere the carbon is in the form of carbon dioxide which gets absorbed by the process of photosynthesis by which it is get transformed into various uh, kind of biological molecules into the uh, biological uh, components maybe plants and animals or it get in uh, interaction with the soil particles and they are also uh, carbon dioxide is emitted or the decomposition processes happen then uh, also from the oceans the carbon dioxide get dissolved into the water by which the acidity of the water gets increased and this carbon dioxide also goes into the aquatic food chain so there are numerous ways by which for example carbon dioxide uh, get recycled from one reservoir to another reservoir 
the residence time of carbon dioxide uh, in the atmosphere is about 100 years it means that it takes uh, around 100 years for carbon dioxide molecule to leave the atmosphere after it is emitted the rate of carbon uh, cycle is the rate at which carbon moves between atmosphere the biosphere and the oceans and also geosphere the carbon cycle is affected by natural processes like uh, photosynthesis respiration decomposition weathering as well as human activities such as fossil fuel combustion deforestation and land use change the carbon cycle is a major driver of greenhouse effect and global warming for example here the emissions of the carbon dioxide from the industry or vehicle emissions they uh, add carbon dioxide to the reservoir resulting in global warming for example if we take uh, this uh, carbon dioxide uh, into consideration the various flux uh, to the atmosphere uh, they are from the plant respiration soil respiration uh, for fossil fuel burning deforestation ocean uh, exol solving weathering and there are many other processes so if we take for example uh, add all the components or influx of these uh, I mean uh, these influxes of carbon dioxide from these sources it is around 231.6 billion metric tons per year and flux out from the atmosphere there are only two that is photosynthesis and ocean dissolving and the net is around 4 billion metric tons per year means 4 million metric tons uh, per year is the buildup of carbon dioxide into the atmospheric reservoir which leads to the uh, greenhouse effect which leads to the global warming the residence time of water uh, another example uh, is about 3000 years meaning that it takes uh, about 3000 years from a uh, water molecule to leave the oceans after it enters there the rate at which water cycle is the rate at which water moves between oceans and the atmosphere the land and the ice the water cycle is influenced by natural processes such as evaporation precipitation runoff infiltration and transpiration as well as human activities such as irrigation damming water withdrawal and the water cycle is a key component of hydrological cycle and the climatic system here there are various processes by which the water gets added to the system and also by which the water gets uh, out from the system if we talk about the average residence time of the water in various reservoirs that is in oceans it is around 3200 uh, years and likewise it reduces and in atmosphere it's only around nine days means in atmosphere the uh, water is only for nine days and uh, from here it gets I mean precipitated in the form of snow uh, rainfall and likewise the residence time of nitrogen in uh, the atmosphere is around 1 million years it takes around 1 million years uh, for a nitrogen molecule to leave the atmosphere and enter it again and there are various processes by which the i mean i, uh, I mean i, I mean uh, by which the nitrogen is recycled for example nitrogen fixation nitrification denitrification as well as human activities like fertilizer application industrial processes and combustion so there are the nitrogen is very important component for the biosynthesis of amino acids nucleic acids and also it can cause environmental problems like if the excess of the nitrogen goes to the water it causes nitrification uh, eutrophication it can cause acetrine and also ozone depletion so how to calculate the residence time of water so residence time of water can be calculated by rate of flow of water and divided by the volume of water for example if you want to calculate the residence time of water in a pond that has a volume around 100 cubic meters and overflow of 10 cubic meters per day the formula here fits 
the residence time is around 100 days that means it takes 100 days for a molecule to leave the pond and enter it again so the rate of natural cycle is the rate at which substance or particles move in different systems as I have already discussed it. For example, rate of water cycle is the rate at which water moves between oceans, atmosphere, land and ice. So how to calculate the rate of natural cycles? So natural cycles rate can be calculated by the residence time of the substance divided by the amount of substance so this is the formula by which we can calculate the uh, rate of natural cycles for example if you want to calculate the rate of natural uh, or carbon uh, cycle you need to uh, know the amount of carbon in each uh, system or component such as atmosphere biosphere oceans geosphere and the rate at which the carbon dioxide is entering for example photosynthesis or leaving for example respiration decomposition weathering fossil fuels 